Now there's the numbers. Oh, uh, thank so. you. <laughs> so if you got so your information. I don't have to do anything except put it in there and hit pop. Right here. That's awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the back, center down the aisle to the wedding march, which means right about the first row here somewhere. All we want you to do is just kind of step over and take your arm, and you're going to bring the last couple of steps to the back here. Perfect. After that, Joe takes over. He'll tell you what to say, what to do, and when to do it. I'll show you a bit. What's been doing for a million years? Next thing you know, uh, you're married. Perfect. Yeah. So have a little fun. Enjoy. Relax for a minute. Uh, send us our photographers wrapped up. We're gonna get things rolling. Great. Thanks. So by the way, Joe's gonna start the wedding march. Oh yeah. Keep an eye on me. Okay. When it's time to go, on the way. You're gonna. Step in here, pause for a picture. The After the picture, you're going to step through the doors to right about here. When you get here, I want you to stop. I'm going to close the doors behind you. Becky's going to get another picture. Congratulations. Uh, that's your <laughs> The most wonderful thing in life is the discovery of another human being with whom one's relationship has a glowing depth and beauty and joy as time goes by. Love is a friendship that has caught fire. It's a quiet understanding, a mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. And love is loyalty through good times and bad. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weakness. Turn and face each other, take each other's hands, and repeat after me. I, Michael, thank you, Bliss. I, Michael, thank you, Bliss. To be my wedded wife, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and in need. I bless, take you, Michael. I bless, take you, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In prosperity and in need. In prosperity and in need. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of the love and commitment that you have one for another. It is designed as a never-ending circle to symbolize the endlessness of your love and of this relationship. Michael, as you put Liz's ring on her finger again, repeat after me. I place this ring upon your finger and marry you all over again. And raise her hand up, Michael, and give it a kiss. And bless. As you put Michael's ring on his finger, you repeat after me. I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And with this ring. And with this ring. Marry you all over again. I marry you all over again. And raise his hand up and give it a kiss. Love each other. Love all others. And most importantly, love yourself. For self-love is the beginning and the end of all other expressions of love. 
and it is God's greatest gift. Thirteen years ago, this love of yourself gave you the wisdom to choose a mate with whom you wished to spend your life. The self-assurance to know that you would each bring qualities to this union to make it fulfilling and long-lasting, and the courage to follow your dream. God has established marriage to make sacred the union between man and woman. He offers the privilege and responsibility of sharing our joys and our sorrows and being supportive of each other throughout our lives. Dear Lord, we are thankful to have you with us today. We ask that you would bless this couple with the wisdom to recognize the good times in their lives and the strength and courage to overcome their trials and their challenges. These favors we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The beauty of love is this. It cannot be made, measured, or described, for it is a precious gift of the soul. And now, by the authority vested in me in the state of Nevada, it's my privilege to pronounce that together you are still husband <laughs> and wife. Michael, you may kiss your wife.